Hi guys, I just thought I'd show another quick package that I received. Uh, this has come from within Germany. So let's see what we have. Again, I've forgotten what this is after buying so many items. So let's see what we have. It could be um, an album or a yeah, it would probably be an album, the size of it. So, let's have a look. Okay. okay, and there's some cards as well. So, there's both an album and what looks like some Mexico and some maybe some Samuel Build, Hern Island maybe cards. Okay, so we have a... Bundesliga 1965. Okay, this is really cool. So the 1965-66 um, Bundesliga album featured um, top players like Franz Beckenbauer and Müller. And I think Müller's rookie card in the 65 um, album is featured in there. So. So this is very well protected in what looks like cling film. And it's taken a while to get open. Here we are. Okay. Still gotta be careful when opening these kind of things. I mean they are like almost you know 60 years old these these albums. So this album originally cost one Deutschmark back in the day. So wow, this is a complete 1965-66 Bundesliga Samuel, Samuel album. And let's see what's what's inside here. Right. So in decent enough condition. Okay, these are these are cards that I have um, that look familiar. I think they are they are maybe are they these? Maybe not. Do they look the same size? They look kind of the same size. Hmm. Yeah, they are. They're the Bergman Verlag um, issues. So this is actually the next year, 66, I think. Um, so let's see um, if we have, we can just through, look through to Bayern Munich. Let's see if we have a Muller. So there's Cologne, we've got 1860 Munich, who are in the third division, third league in Bundesliga, is Dortmund, Hanover, got Nuremberg, um, Frankfurt, Stuttgart, Hamburg, that's where Kevin Keegan actually went after playing for Liverpool, Heiserschlauten, Karl Drua, Schalke, and there is Bayern Munich. Okay, so we have jo Josef uh, Meyer, international goalkeeper for Germany at the time, Franz Beckenbauer. Let's see who else. Um, yeah, there is the Muller rookie card for 65. Yeah, so this album is very thick because their cards actually put in, um, stuck in probably with glue. Um, yeah, I won't touch any of these, I just keep the album. Yeah, so very nice, very nice album, complete. Let's just see if the rest is there. Yeah, it's a complete album. Very nice. And there's the Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich team, and uh, Gerhard, Gerd Müller's uh, first card, and Franz Beckenbauer. Very nice. 
yeah very very nice very nice album absolutely complete yeah i'm loving this love this album so yeah that's in bundesliga 1965 bergman verlag and uh the next season it featured uh this car which i have a a psa 10 in and also the psa 8 franz beckenbauer now these two these two players I mean, they are comparable to Pele. They're European uh, kings, you know, legends. And they won multiple um, Ballon d'Ors and top goal scorer in 1970 World Cup, won multiple Champions Leagues. They are absolute royalty in uh, European football. So um, there are very few pe players as, as good with amazing uh, careers as these two have had. Um, unfortunately, Muller has has had a sort of, um, once he, his playing career finished, had a terrible time um, um, in his life um, with alcohol and things. But um, yeah, very, very good. These two, yeah, absolutely buy these cards, buy Beckenbauer, Muller, early early cards of them. They're absolute gold, gold dust right now. They're, and they're so cheap, they're not expensive at all. So um, yeah, great investments, wonderful cards. Wonderful cards. Yeah, as so if you want the um, the actual rookie for Muller. God, Muller, what a player he was. Had the side, you know, tree trunks as legs. So um, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, this is the one to look out for. A young Gerd Muller. Yeah, they they did everything. They won. If you just look up uh, even Wikipedia, look up. Um, yeah, just look up Gerd, Gerd Müller. You'll see the career he had. It's just immense, the amount of goals he scored. And uh, Franz Beckenbauer, he won everything. World Cups, um, Champions Leagues, Domestic Leagues, multiple times. And Bayern Munich weren't anything like uh, the team they are, um, you know, through history until these guys appeared. And then suddenly they were the dominant force, winning everything. So, um, I mean, Franz Beckenbauer, he won the World Cup playing and also managed uh, the German side to win the World Cup as well. So, you know, really, these are just two underpriced players right now. Um, so, yeah, look for the 65 if you can. Uh, this is a 66. Um, they got to the final that year and, of course, lost to England uh, in at Wembley. So, you know, but still, just another notch on... On the belt there of um, these two players of of uh, career um, winnings of titles and things so and uh, finals so um, yeah great World Cups so yeah let's just open this and I have a uh, Alfredo Di Stefano and a Ferenc Puskas. So yeah, very nice. So the the uh, Muller is a green back, which is Italian issue, rather than the red and black backs, which are international. I think international issue. But yeah, that looks quite clean. That looks really good. From the top scorer in the 1970 World Cup, which this is from 1970 Mexico. So, yeah, very nice, very nice card. Yeah, so that will go to get graded for sure. And I also have. The Di Stefano card. Which isn't Hernaila because it, I mean it hasn't got the logo or anything, it's got the similar back and it just often gets confused with Hernaila. But this isn't. This is a 1962 um, is it should? Should so you know people should know should know the difference between the two companies. Similar backs with this kind of Little playing football here. If I show you an example, 
example of of a Hernada, you'll see that it's it is different. I mean, it has the logo Hernada, similar sort of playing little texture there in the background, but they are two different um, two different cards, you know, two different um, companies issues. So yeah, that's an Alfredo Di Stefano, which is pretty cool, Real Madrid. Very nice. And the last card again is isn't um, her either. Real Madrid again. Can you imagine these two players playing together? Hungarian dominant player. I mean, king of the king of footballers at the time. Mid fifties. And Di Stefano. And then you had Gento as well, and, and a number of other amazing players from Real Madrid. And this card comes from um, the original. I've showed it plenty of times, but the, the original being that one, and that is a Hernal. But yeah, this was re released later, but you can see it's the same, um, same image. So they must have bought the rights or something from that. But yeah, that's three nice cards and, and a nice album from a German seller on eBay. So eBay.de in an auction, separate auctions. And that came to me today. Guys, if you like this uh, video, subscribe and uh, give me a like. Thanks a lot.